That's a spitball. <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Are you spitballing me? Yeah, you know why? Why? Because you ruined the Colonel's jug. Yeah, well, I was hungry, so I had to get in there pretty quick. I had to rip the label right off. You're supposed to be ketchup in here. We know there's ketchup. He and we know ruined it. This one's dill. The blank one's ketchup, obviously. Tell me, everyone, do this right now. Stop what you're doing. Well, don't pause the video, okay? Do this with me, okay? At Kyle. Spitball him. Yeah. Ruining the kernels. Tell him that's for ruining the kernel bin. Do it. And tell me you did it, okay? <laughs> Just say like this. Spitball them, girl. Oh, they got me. Tell him. Tell him. Tell me. Spitball them, girl. Let's move on to the video. <laughs> We're doing our favorite snacks for weight loss. Current favorite snacks for weight loss. Yeah, this is like an updated version. Our new yep. current favorite snacks. So as you guys know, Kyle and I are in the middle of leaning out and we've both lost about 5% body fat, like each of us, and about 13 pounds each. And we're continuing to go and we're changing our snacks up to sort of keep it interesting. And we are having a relaxed eating day about once a week, sometimes every two weeks. But Sometimes during the week when we need it, like on a leg day or a back day, we need more food, we also eat these as well. And these are our go-to snacks that are we're staying lean on and they're keeping us satisfied. Look, without further ado, let's do it. So one of, one of our favorites that we've been eating on leg day is um, Greek yogurt. So we take the fat-free plain Greek yogurt, usually about half to one cup of yogurt. Take one to two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. This is the chocolate peanut butter. Haven't tried this one yet, only the, the normal one, so I'm gonna try this one out this week. Now, once again, make sure you don't buy the just good stuff. You gotta get the great, just great stuff. Yeah, only just great stuff. Right. So, yogurt, powdered peanut butter, a tablespoon of sugar-free jello pudding or whatever pudding you got. Sorry, it says fat-free, but it is also sugar-free. We like the chocolate. You can get any flavor you want. And a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And I mix it all together. Sometimes I put some stevia in there. Mix it up. Makes like a mousse. And then you dip fruits in it. It's great. It's and I, so I'm, good. I'm glad you showed the friends how to mix because they probably didn't know. So yeah, I'm glad well, you showed. Like that. <laughs> About use the, the stevia or the sweetener to your preference. And you could probably use whatever, like sugar free syrup or any kind of sweetener you like. Next one. We love this. Like sometimes on a Sunday night when we're watching movies, we're like, hey, you want some popcorn, bud? And then we get it. <laughs> this stuff is awesome. It's 94, I want to say 95, but for some reason it's 94% fat free. Sorry, I showed you the French side. Look at this. I don't know why it's only 94, but anyway. Let's, let's try to get it to 96, friend. <laughs> yeah, come on. So we love this Smart Pop and we, I just want to show you guys. It's really good macros for a whole bag. Eight cups is a whole bag. It's two and a half grams of fat, 30 carbs, no sugar, lots of fiber in there, and under 200 calories. And sometimes we split a bag and sometimes we eat the whole bag each. For six years, almost seven, popcorn has always kind of been a go-to snack for us. Why? Because popcorn is pretty much low fat unless you load it with butter and really high in fiber and it keeps you full because you get a lot for one serving. Make sure you guys get the Smart Pop because they do add a lot of fat to the normal microwave popcorn. Yeah, it's best to get the fat-free kind or 94% fat-free and instead of topping it with butter, we top it with 
blank containers. Oh, I wonder what this is. Hmm. Why don't you open the lid and take a big sniff? And so, you know what happens when you do that with this stuff? You get snorted because it goes right up your nose. Yeah, that's what snorted means. <laughs> that's our own word. So you get, this is pretty much, there's like no anything in this. It's very low in carbs, very low in, in sugars, fats, calories. We get all the flavors. This one is ketchup, for those of you that can't tell because the label's missing. And this one is dill pickle. They have cheese, uh, white cheddar. Uh, the cheddar one tastes kind of like the cheese from like Kraft Dinner. It's delicious. And we just sprinkle what we like on it, shake her up and eat it. It's delicious. Four cups is generally our go-to serving, but depending on how hungry we are, like I said, sometimes we eat the whole bag each. Our next favorite snack. I don't eat the bag, I just eat the popcorn, but this one sometimes eats the bag. <laughs> Anyone ever licked the bag, like the buttery bag on the inside? No. None of oh. nobody has. <laughs> Tell me that you're a bag licker. <laughs> <laughs> If you lick the bag, you tell me I'm a bag licker. I used to do it all the time. You rip it open on the fat kind and you just go and you get all the salt and butter off the side. Demonetized instantly. I'm sorry I had to ask that. Our next favorite snack, rice cakes. Low in carbs and low in fat and sugars. And high in flavor. And these are amazing. Yeah, these are amazing. These are our favorite. They also have the lowest carb, sugar, and fat. The white, white cheddar. White cheddar. And this one is butter popcorn. Now, the friends, these are perfect for taking to the movies in your purse. Shh, shh. Take a big purse and put these in there. They taste like movie popcorn. And if you get in trouble, tell them the Colette's told you to. Yeah. It's okay. Tell it's our fault. <laughs> So these are amazing for snacks. We usually have anywhere from two to three of them for one serving. Next, we just discovered these bars and they are so good. And they're great for snacks. And not only that, these five or one bars, if you're craving cookies, I feel like these really give me that soft and chewy cookie feel. And the flavors are really good. Right now we're into the cinnamon bun one and the brownie one, but there's also a chocolate chip one that is really good. They also have a lemon that I wanna try. They are very, very good. These are great because fiber one, they're high, they're high in fiber. They're pretty low in fat and calories, fairly low in sugar and decent in carbs. You know, this is a much better alternative to a cookie. If you're craving a cookie or a brownie or anything like that, especially with its higher fiber content. So, these are great snack alternatives. Also, we just discovered these. Um, a lot of our friends that are older will know that we have an addiction to Pop-Tarts. Some of our newer ones might not know that. So we haven't been having them because they're higher in fat lately and we're trying to lean out. These are like the Pop-Tart replacement. Yep. This cookies and cream, the, they're Special K pastry crisps. They're a much thinner, version, chew, thinner and chewier version of a Pop-Tart, in my opinion. They're amazing. I don't crave Pop-Tarts at all. I just pop some of these. And the whole package, the macros are for the whole package. So two bars and it's 100 calories, two fat, one fiber, seven sugar, and 20 carbs for the whole thing. That's amazing. And you're satisfied after these. And the cookies and cream, it's bomb.com. What were they saying that's the cool word now? Dank. Dank and legit. Legit. Yeah. They're legit. Okay. Yeah. Nice shirt. Thanks. Next, <laughs> next favorite snack lately has been pretzels. Pretzels are amazing because they're really low in fat and sugar. You can have 33 pretzels for one serving. Sorry. 30 pretzels for one serving. Low fat, fairly low in calories, and you know, decent in carbs. For what you get, 30 of these is a major serving. And if you just had half a serving, 15 of them, you're really, like, they give you your salty, crunchy craving for really low sugar and fat. 
And what we do, we just discovered Greek yogurt dips. We mentioned this in, in one of our other videos too. This Greek yogurt dip is amazing. You get two tablespoons for a serving and it really actually tastes like French onion chip dip. You would never know that it's Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt dips are becoming really popular. So for our Canadian friends, you'll get the PC. Our American friends, just look in like your Greek yogurt section and you should have the flavored dips. Or your dip section. Yeah. Wherever that area is, check both out. So I just want to show them that This two is uh, actually a funny story where I met Nicole in the dip section. <gasps> I was wondering where you were going. Pretty good, actually. I'll give him that one. So look at this. Two tablespoons, 45 calories, two and a half fat, four carbs, two sugar, and two protein. And you can dip your pretzels and you feel like you're eating like salty chips and dip or whatever. It gives you that salty and your dips. And while you're in the, in the dip section, you might meet the love of your life. Or me. We often hang out in the dip section. Yeah, because I like dip. Yeah. Not because we are dips. Well, maybe we are. Or, or we do dips, like tricep dips. <laughs> <laughs> this is our favorite. We get the fat-free Jello, which is also sugar-free. Any flavor you like. This one is vanilla. Mix it with non-dairy milk because it's lower in carb, sugar, and fat than regular milk. Once it's set, you top it with fat-free we love this fat-free cool whip and of course this one's 95 they made this one 95 one percent better than the popcorn you get three tables in your three. face orville redenbacher in your face orville look at this look at this three tablespoons 25 calories barely any fat barely any sugar it's great top it on your pudding about half a teaspoon of sprinkles. We usually just do a little pinch to feel like we're having a party. And that's a great pudding, low calorie, low sugar pudding snack. Then the last favorite one that we've been doing lately, it's so good, the Greek yogurt that we showed you from the first snack. About half a cup of Greek yogurt. A tablespoon of these stevia sweetened chocolate chips. A small banana or half a large banana and a quarter cup of this Kashi Go Lean. We really like this toasted cinnamon. It's like a fruit and yogurt parfait, but it tastes like a dessert and you're getting all these good nutrients from the banana and the yogurt and the whole grains in the Kashi Go Lean and it tastes so good. It's a great snack. It makes a great breakfast. It's really good. <laughs> it's one of my favorites, I think. We are currently eating these. These are our current favorites and they help us not only stay full, but also keep us satisfied. And honestly, Kyle and I haven't had any fast food, no like full fat calorie, no full fat ice cream, donuts, cookies, anything since way before Christmas. And all of these are keeping us super satisfied and continuing to get lean and showing the muscles. Whoa. Check them out because they're really good. And don't forget, don't forget <laughs> to follow us on Instagram at the Colette's. You'll see all kinds of cool things, okay? And don't forget to like and subscribe or what? Or what? I get I bet I bet you they can I bet you they know. The Kyle ripped off the Colonel's label of doom. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm in the doghouse. And a spitball. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Yeah. What the? I was a lamp, a genie in a lamp. Okay, that's good. <gasps> Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>